to Donovan's mom. I sincerely apologize for what's about to happen, but there's no way I'm traveling halfway around the world to one of the most iconic, holiest rivers in the world and not going in. And our son feels the same way. So slippery. Holy cow. Yay! <laughs> oh no, sleep, sleep. <laughs> You going under? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Alright, don't get it in your mouth. Under. Good morning from Varanasi, India. One of the oldest cities in the world. One of the holiest cities in the world. Located on the banks of the Ganges, or as they say in Hindu, Hindi, the Ganga, and it's early. It's about 4.45, and I'm up early to witness the morning ceremonies, and there are already numerous people bathing in the water. The Ganga is the holiest of all rivers to the Hindus. It's believed that if you are to die in Varanasi and your remains are thrown into the Ganga, that you will break the cycle of rebirth. So a lot of people come here for the sole purpose of dying. These hotels, apartments, everything behind me, people are here waiting to die. And uh, they cremate the bodies right on the riverbank on what are called ghats. And they have ceremonial ghats and they have crema cremation ghats where they have the fires burning. And the fires, the flame from the fire, has been the same flame for 3,500 years. You heard me right. This is a very, very ancient city and a very, very ancient belief and tradition. And here you can see there are many, many people enjoying the morning swim. It's going to get to about 111 degrees today. So there's a burst of activity in the morning. It kind of calms down throughout the day as everyone takes cover and just relaxes and tries to escape the heat. And then in the evening, there's another burst of activity where there's a light ceremony. It's a very, very cool. And so we're going to do this video in a few stages. We'll check out different stages of the day and what's happening in Varanasi. We'll go into the streets, the narrow alleyways, which are beyond cool. And yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. All right, we'll continue this way towards the burning guts. And uh, there's already a lot more activity in this direction as we approach kind of the center. No, thank you. Good morning. continue down this way and there is some type of morning ceremony happening. So, as the ceremonies continue behind me, let's continue down the Ganga, along the Ghats. 
Now there appears to be just a flood of people coming from the streets down to the river. So as you can see, there's a lot of people that have made the pilgrimage, but they have nowhere to stay. So the, everywhere is covered with people sleeping. They just bring a blanket, throw it down, and this is that's where they're that's where they're staying. And there's hundreds and hundreds of old boats that are lining the shore. And then they have boats like this that are currently being worked on. There's men building new boats. And the construction is crazy. It's like a, it's a planking and staples that are holding it together. It doesn't look the most seaworthy to me, but apparently it's been working for thousands of years. And here we see a boat in a very early stage of construction. And uh, it's very interesting how they bend the wood with weight. So I'm assuming they wet it, bend it, prop it, wet it, bend it, prop it. But uh, yeah, this is a boat being built. Of all the places that I've been excited to see in India, Varanasi is by far the one that I was most anticipating. And no, thank you. Maybe later. And it uh, definitely lives up to my expectations. It's got a very unique feel. You can sense the spirituality of the place and the people here. It's a definitely a very, very cool experience. I'm getting a massage. Get Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's one hitting the spot there. Oh, I didn't know this existed. I didn't know my ears could pop like that. It's very odd. Let's see if we can get a nice shot of this sunrise here. It's absolutely stunning. The morning vibes of Varanasi. I'm gonna go have some breakfast, and then uh, a little later today we'll get back at it. All right, it's three in the afternoon. Other than our little swim and breakfast, we've been hanging out in the AC. Uh, it hasn't really cooled down much, but we're gonna head out to the alleyways. Let's go right. Alleyways are actually so narrow that they're shaded, so it's a lot cooler than being out next to the river where you're underneath the direct sun. Uh, as the sun sets, this alley right here will be packed with people. So everyone just waits until the sun sets to come out. Ooh, that monkey was not happy with me. Do not make eye contact with the monkeys. <laughs> he does not like the camera. Look. Okay, so 
We're going to work our way down to the burning mat where they cremate the bodies and they go 24 7, seven days a week for the past 3,000, 3,500 years. And, uh, as I mentioned before, it's the same flame. For me, no. Yes, 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 yes. No, I sweat. Shiva, Shiva, Shiva. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, I'm gonna yes, sweat. Yes, 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 Shiva. I'm gonna sweat profusely. Mm, yes, this money. 500. Mm. All right, we have our Homa, our Bindi. We're ready to go see some burning bodies. I was just arguing with the guy the difference between like a dollar fifty and sixty cents and you just catch yourself sometimes like hey just chill out as we approach the burning gat i think uh, now would be a good time for me to talk about the agori the agori is a hindu sect that worship the god shiva the god of destruction and my interpretation of it is you can't have creation without destruction just like you can't have two thoughts. You have to have one thought leave your mind for the next one to happen. So you need destruction to have creation. Now the interesting part about the Agori is that they are cannibals. It's not everyone can afford the firewood for a cremation. So some bodies are just thrown into the Ganga. And the Agori will fish them out and have rituals where the guru will meditate on top of the body and then they will eat it. We're approaching the burning gat and I went through there yesterday right through it with my camera and there's no issues but for obvious reasons I'm not going to do that and put it on YouTube. So we'll get a little closer so you can see the flames and then I will take my 16-year-old son through there to see the bodies being cremated. You, you'll have to visit Varanasi yourself. All right, we're going in and we have a guide and he's gonna give us some details on what exactly is happening. We're not gonna film the fires. We're gonna do this long distance shot right here. That's all we're gonna do out of respect. And we're gonna go. So this is a different type of class yeah. up here. This is the place because you know our in, in, in Varanasi every year Ganga River high. Yes. Down no possible burning. So take time all cast everybody make fire here. Okay. And this place 24 hour, one day 150, 160 body burning. Every so day. Is, yeah, because this is very holy place. Yes. Who people burn here, soul go direct to the nirvana. It's called moksha. Moksha. Yeah, go to direct heaven, stop the circuit. And then the ashes are put ashes into in morning time. The... In the early morning, worker people collecting together go in the near Ganga, put in the Ganga ashes. Because the family after fire, every ashes they be here. Okay. This is the place, only dead body, not complete burn, like a main chest, woman hips, no burning. Yes. This part of the body very strong. So after three hours, this is a little body, family throw in the Ganga. One body, you see, there three hours. Family waiting three hours. Three hours. Yeah. And, and the, so the family waits. Yeah, family wait three hours. And this place, you you see only the men. Family woman no come. Okay. Because the family woman come here is starting crying. Yes. So this place not good to cry. So family woman no come. Only men bring body. Yeah. Because this is very holy place. Soul go heaven. If people cry, soul disturb. So no cry here. And this is all family. Very interesting. And here when first body come, family go in the Ganga, washing body. 
after washing then make file one body need 260 kilo wood this is mango wood one mango mango tree one body need 260 kilo one kilo wood 1500 so family buy 260 kilo wood yes. make the bed the wood bed then that body go to family. the family makes the bed no family buy wood okay. worker people make everything worker people three hour working to make a fire family only start father die older son give fire only after give the fire worker people make fire okay and this place no use matches no petrol use holy fire down there eternal shiva fire 3500 years old always burning yes this fire never stop family take the holy fire then he start make fire to burn body very very interesting it's completely fascinating i don't know how i feel about that ash hitting me in the face while we're standing there but let's go down we're gonna see the eternal flame of shiva yes when all that body burn finish family bring ganga river inside to make a cold fire this used last time okay this is all material sandalwood body that takes the smell out yeah expensive wood sandal hello 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 Holy fire, 3,500 years old, never stop, always burning. Same family here, generation, generation taking care. Really? Yeah. Wow. When dead body family come, taking this grass. Take this grass yes. and little Shiva fire. Then it start to make burn. So they take the grass, yeah. put it in the Shiva fire and, and bring it down. Yeah. And this is the wood for collecting to burn for the poor family. Okay. People come here looking, learning, people give money for yes, 5 kilos, 10 kilos, so they buy wood for poor people. Also, our Hindu religious, we don't fire some of body. Pregnant woman die, no fire. Right. Go Ganga river. Children die. You just throw in, yeah, the river. in the river. People die, cobra bite, go in the river. Animal die, go in the river. And only men sadhu die. This whole body take the heavy stone to get the stone body. Right. Your name? Buffer. A blessing. This is long life, happy life, happy journey, family, happy your journey. Thank you. Your brother's name? Om Namah Donovan. Long life. It's my son. Yeah. So. And your name? So Buffer. <laughs> Shut up.